Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this boy banner for your nursery or for your kid's bedroom or whatever. It's made using worsted weight yarn and a size 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. It has cute little wells on it and it says B-O-Y. So the first thing you're going to have to do is make four wells. So we're going to start off with a magic circle. So drape your yarn over your hand. My end is down here. And then wrap it around. And you're going to stick your hook under one and pull up a loop. And this is the hard part because you got to kind of hold your yarn and it's kind of all like falling apart. And then just chain one. That makes it kind of more like sturdy. And now we're going to do eight single crochets into this ring. And you want to make sure that you're single crocheting over the tail and the loop. When you have your eight single crochets, you want to make sure not to twist the stitches. And you just want to pull it taut. So now we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch and we're not going to slip stitch to join, we're just going to work in the continuous round. So do two single crochets in each stitch and you should have 16 single crochets at the end. Alright, so now I have 16 stitches and we're going to go on to round 3. For round 3, you're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then do two single crochets in the same stitch for the next second stitch. We're going to repeat this four times. So we haven't gone all the way around the circle. We just repeated that four times. Then we're going to single crochet one more time in the very next stitch. And then we're going to chain seven. So now we're going to go on to round four. We're going to skip this first chain, and the second chain from a hook, we're going to do two half double crochets. And one double crochet in that same space. And then in the next two chains, we are going to slip stitch. And chain two. All right, now we're gonna go on to round five. So we're going to, once again, skip this first chain. And in the second chain from hook, we're going to do two half double crochets. and one double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch into that very same space. And then we're going to go on to round six. So we're going to slip stitch, half double crochet, and then we're going to skip this chain and double crochet twice into this stitch right here. Then we're going to half double crochet again, single crochet, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch again, and then half double crochet and one more slip stitch. And there is your well. So what I do is chain one and cut my yarn, pull through, and then I'll just weave in the ends behind there. All right, so I made four of these wells for my little boy banner. And you just want to weave in all the ends Make sure that if you want your well to face this way, you weave in the ends on this side. 
Alright, now the only thing you guys need to do is to make the letter B, O, and Y if you're having a boy, or the letter G, I, R, L if you're having a girl. So I used the Moogly alphabet for this. It's another blogger's design for letters. So I can't show you guys how to do her pattern because I believe that infringes upon her copyright since she did state on her pattern she didn't want it reproduced. So I'll leave that link down below. And then all we're going to do is to connect the fish to the alphabet. So I'm just going to slip stitch in and pull up a loop and make sure that's tight and then just chain as long as I want it to hang and then just slip stitch your well onto the letter. And then I just chain one. Cut the yarn and pull through and pull it tight. And then I tie this in a knot up here just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And you can do the same down here if you're worried about it slipping off. So now that we have our fish on our letters, we're going to connect the actual letters together to form a banner. Or I guess you could put this um, as a mobile above your crib or something too. So I chained 30 stitches to start, and then I'm just going to connect my B to this chain, and I'm just going to slip stitch it together. Then I'm going to chain more. The amount of chains that you're going to chain is different for every person since everyone has different amounts of chains per inch. So like everyone's crochets differently. So I want to chain across the B and then slip stitch again just to make sure that it is going to be sturdy. And then you're going to chain some more before you attach your O. I think I'm going to chain probably about 15 to 20 to make sure there's enough space in between my letters. And then the last thing to do is to hang it on command hooks. 